that you have tuned into today. Now, William Shakespeare once wrote quite a famous play called Hamlet. To be or not to be is probably one of the famous quotes. But today, no to Hamlet, no to William Shakespeare. It is to be or not to be a super kid. And who will be a super kid today? We are searching from Hedok Elementary School in Taejeon. Ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Good. So let's get started on Super Kids. Let's hurry up and meet today's contestants. We drove two hours from Seoul to get here. This is the Tedov Research Complex in Daejeon, Korea's hub of research and development. The complex is responsible for paving the future in science. Located at Usongi Mountain, Tedok Elementary is the perfect manifestation of an environmentally friendly school with clean air and quiet surroundings. It prepares and educates students through a variety of teaching methods and specialized teachers. Let's meet the 20 bright Tedok contestants. Here we go, we always start with guess what? And the Apple team and the Lemon team are already with their fingers on the buzzers. First, we need that starter question. Listen carefully and give me the answer. Who was the English author that wrote Harry Potter? Okay, that's yes. the Apple team. What is your answer? The answer is J.K. Rowling. Okay, simple, simple rules. You pop those balloons, you get letters, you get clues. You must spell the word and avoid the bomb which is there. Okay, Apple team, go for it. Pick a balloon. Number three. Number three is an E. Okay, here comes the clue. I get bright at night. Hmm. I get bright at night. Sounds like a poem. Three, two, one, lemon team. Number two. Okay, it's an R. Here's clue number two. People look up to me. People look up to me. I get bright at night. An R and E. Three, two, one. Over. Over to the apple team. Choose a balloon. Number six. Number six, it's a T, R-E-T, clue number three. I've stayed in one place for a long time. Hmm, I've stayed in one place for a long time. It's a tough one, this one. Don't get too worried, it is hard. Three, two, one. Lemon team, your turn. Number five. Number five is an O, here we go. Some have bells and clocks. Some have bells and clocks. Three, two, one. Okay, while the lemon team were thinking, the apple team look a little excited, like they might know the answer. First of all, choose a balloon. Number one. Number one is the bomb. So you don't get another clue or another letter, but you can guess. What is your answer? The answer is power. Yes, it is. T-O-W-E-R, tower. That is the correct answer. So the Apple team take the lead. Lemon team are playing catch up. Don't worry, Lemon team. I still have two questions here. You could be going through. Apple team first. Choose a balloon. Number two. Number two is the bomb. You found that bomb, so there are no bombs left, but we have no clues, no letters, so lemon team, go ahead, pop a balloon. Number two. 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 Number two.
Number four. Number four is a C, and here is a clue. Some fortune tellers use me. Hmm. Some fortune tellers use me. They're going ahead. They've buzzed in. Do you know the answer? The answer is cars. Oh, good guess. Good guess. You're right. There are tarot cards which are used to tell people fortune sometimes. Okay, Apple team, go ahead. You get another chance. Choose a balloon. Number five. Number five. That's an E. Here we go. About 90% comes from Asia. About 90% comes from Asia. Some fortune tellers use me. C, E, three. They've buzzed in. Will this send them through to the next round? What's your answer? The answer yeah. is cape. 90% comes from Asia. <laughs> Capes. Maybe Superman got them from China. OK, over to the lemon team. Choose a letter. Number three. It's an R, C, E, R, and a clue. The more ripe I get, I tend to bow my head. The more ripe I get, I tend to bow my head. Three. Come in on three. What is your answer? Oh, the answer is rice. Yes, it is. That's right, 90% of rice comes from Asia. The final clue was scarecrows guard me. Scarecrows guard me. Okie dokie, what have we got? We have got apple team with one point. We have lemon team with one point. It's a tie. Who's going through? Let's find out. Word number three. Lemon team, choose the balloon. You go first. Number two. Number two. It's an E, and here is the first clue. The oldest is in Turkey. The oldest is in Turkey. Not an easy clue. Three, two, one. Too hard at this point. Over to the Apple team. Pop a balloon. Watch out for that bomb. Number four. It's an A. Here's clue number two. I am loud. I am loud. Three, two, one. Lemon team, over to you. Number six. Number six. It's an R. You've got an E, A, and an R, and you've got clue number three. Nowadays, I'm even on the internet. Hmm. Three, two, one. Over to the Apple team. This is tough. Choose a balloon. Seven, lucky for some, it's a cake. All right, here's another clue. People bring money. What's your answer? The answer is market. That's yeah. it. And so the answer was market. That was a tough one, but finally the Apple teams cracked it. What are the scores? Apple team two, lemon team one. Apple team, you get through to the next round. <laughs> next up come the Kiwi team and the Orange team. We're looking for one of them to go through. Here's your starter question. Who is the author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> that was very fast. Kiwi team, what is your answer? The answer is Roald Dahl. Yes, it is. Roll Dahl. Excellent. Yes, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory are one of my favorites. So, Kiwi team, you got that question right, the starter question. So go ahead, choose a balloon, but avoid that bomb. Number six. It's an O, and here's the clue. I first originated in the US. I first originated in the US, and O, you can have a guess if you like. Three. Two, one. Okay, over to the orange team. Go ahead, choose that balloon. Number four. Number four is an R, and here's a clue. 
I never stop talking. It's me. I never stop talking. Oh. Okay, orange team, they're going to go for it. What is your answer? The answer is radio. Yes, it is. Very impressive. Well done, well done. Here is the second word. It has five balloons. One of those is a bomb. Go ahead, choose a balloon. Number two. Number two. It's an S. OK, here's your clue. I cannot work in water. I cannot work in water. Three. Go ahead, have a guess. Three. The answer is sail. OK, good guess, good guess, but it's not the answer. Over to the Kiwi team, they're playing catch up, choose a balloon. Number four. Number four. Oh, no, you didn't need that right now. That is a bomb. OK, you did have I cannot work in water as a clue and the letter S. So go ahead. What would you think might be the answer? Three, two... The answer is salt. <laughs> not bad guess, not bad. The Red Sea, though, there's plenty of... Uh, Plenty of salt there. Okay, uh, over to uh, the orange team. The orange team, choose a letter. Number one. Number one. That's an O. Okay, here's another clue for you. Don't pick me. Three. Two. The answer is get, yeah. soil. <laughs> Oh, another good guess, another good guess, but that is not the correct answer. Okay, Kiwi team, which balloon do you want? Number five. Number five? You got an N. What is the clue? Listen up. Some people greet with me. I cannot work in water. Don't pick me. Some people greet with me. They have buzzed. What is your answer, Kiwi team? The answer is snow. <laughs> okay, over to the orange team. There's only one balloon left. It is a number three. Let's see what it is. Okay, you've got an E, you've got all the letters. Here's the final clue. I have two holes. What is the answer? The answer is no. Nose. Oh, poor Kiwi team, I really do feel for you. Just got it wrong at the end there. The answer was not snow, it was nose. So, what are the scores? Well, the Kiwi team, afraid, I'm afraid, got zero, and the orange team got two. So the orange team go through to the next round. Defeat Matthew, rock, scissors, paper. Rock, Only two will scissors, be saved. Paper, Let's see who rock, those two lucky scissors, ones are. Paper. You must beat me. So if you're ready, I will say those words. Rock, scissors, paper. OK, we have a lot of paper here. And we have a rock. Do we have any scissors? Yes, we do. We have two <laughs> scissors. So today, on Matthew Save Me, we already have two people through. Number 15 is going through, and number 14 will go through. Everybody else, sit down, please. <laughs> Do you think it's true? Do you think it's false? That's what it's all about. But get two incorrect answers and you must sit down. We have 12. We will cut them in half. Shoo, two, six. And those six will go through to the next round. Get ready. You all look very nervous. Ha, ha, ha. Question number one. Indonesia is made up of many islands. Indonesia is made up of many islands. 
Oh, a little mix this time. The answer is true, true. So if you said false, hold up those signs and the fox will come and change them to red. He looks a lot taller. Okay, we changed to red. Numbers one, numbers four, numbers five, numbers 14 and 19, they are on red. Okay, so one more incorrect answer, they will be out. Let's move on. Sound travels through outer space. Sound travels through outer space. Mm-hmm. A mixed bag of X and O's. The answer is false. It is impossible for sound to travel without air. If you said true, hold up your O's. Here comes a fox to change the whites to reds and the reds will be taken away. We only have three whites left and unfortunately he made it through on rock, scissors, paper. Number 14, the Kiwi. Sit down, please. One down, five to go. Okay, next question. Crickets make sounds by rubbing their wings. Crickets make sounds by rubbing their wings. Oh, ho, ho, the answer is true. And we have two X's, number 17 and number 18. Thank you, Mr. Fox. So what does that mean? It means that number 17, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say, sit down, please. <laughs> and so we move on. Next question. In tennis, a score of zero is called love. In tennis, a score of zero is called love. Oh, this is interesting. We have a lot of X's, but I will tell you the answer is true. It means love. Only two of our contestants got that right. Everyone else, let's see what happens now. Okay, this is going to get complicated. So what does that mean? It means 15, 16 and 18. You are through to the next round. So go and sit on the chairs behind you. Give them a little round of applause. Our apples and our oranges move into the middle. You are not yet through. We need three of you to go through to the next round and the rest will sit down. So. Let's begin again. In the ocean, the deeper, the colder. In the ocean, the deeper, the colder. Everybody says true except number 19. The answer is true. Oh, number 19, you changed at the last minute. Here comes the fox to take your O and X away. Number 19, sit down, please. And so there were six. Next question. One inch equals five centimeters. One inch equals five centimeters. Once again, <laughs> everybody false. One true, the answer is false. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And so number five, sit down please. And then there were five. Next question. Only female mosquitoes bite. Only female mosquitoes bite. Okay, we have four O's, one X. The answer is true. It's only the female, so I'm afraid. Number 20. You must sit down, please. There were four. Next question. 
If you freeze water, its volume gets bigger. If you freeze water, its volume gets bigger. We have three O's. One X. He's not happy. That is Jung Chan, who unluckily is the last person to go out. It is true. I'm sorry. Sit down, please. And so, number two, number three, and number four. All apples will join one kiwi and two oranges in the next round. Hello, welcome to Dedak Elementary School, located in Daejeon, the hub of science. Our school is famous for students with strong personalities. Dedak is also known for its nickname, the International School. Let's find out how it got such a name. Like, out of the entire class, 64 students have lived abroad. Some of those students are foreigners. These foreign students do not know the Korean language yet, nor are they familiar with the culture. So they have to take a special class for returners. 저는 아빠 따라서 독일에서 온지 2년 됐고요. 대덕 초등학교에서 좋은 친구도 만났고 선생님도 자상하셔서 좋아해요. Since these students are still learning Korean, most of our classes are conducting in English. However, when we are playing fun each other, there is no language barrier. Of the international school, there is one other trait to remember us by. That is, we learn about our roots. The students' traditional Korean music club are the stars who have maintained our traditional sound since 2000. 64 students play various instruments. The Hagum, Hegum, Degum, Ajeng, Hangpiri. They start the day fresh with a clear mind because of a daily practice. So the thought of losing yourself during extra practice time was beyond imagination. Hurry up and come over here. Oh, why the sudden hike, you ask? We Dedok students already stayed by hiking up this mountain once a week. Every Saturday, we go hiking on the mountain behind our school. We don't go all the way to the top. However, we'll walk about 5 kilometers, sing songs and memorize children's poetry in order to maintain a beautiful mind. By coming to the mountain every week, we can see subtle changes sprouting in nature, like flowers blooming and, and trees in blossom. Such changes are neat and pretty to see. Classes in various environments, honest minds and healthy body form the basic foundation of a positive school life. You can look forward to seeing us make a bright future. Go Dada! That was Tedok Elementary School. But they're not at school right now. No, no. They're right here in the studio of Super Kids. We have six contestants left who will do battle for four places in the Magic Cubes. Who would it be? Let's find out. I can't read the future. We are in Zoom In, the part of the program where we have asked our contestants to do their homework. They have read a book. What was the book? It is a French book. Listen to the introduction. Les Miserables is French writer Victor Hugo's masterpiece of 1862. This is a must read for students because it is a story in which readers can feel a sense of humanity towards the poor people that lived through the French Revolution of the 19th century. Currently considered as one of the world's four major musicals, this masterpiece can be frequently seen more on Broadway. This week on Zoom In, the Tedok Elementary students will explore Les Miserables. Okay, listen up. We will get going with question number one. Having lost his parents when he was little, Jean Valjean 
lives with his sister and cousins. Being so poor, one day he stole this. That is number two, that is Chun He. What is your answer? The answer is bread. Yes, it is. The answer is bread. And so here comes the fox hanging his head. There we go. You have some pink kind of rabbit ears. We always like to humiliate our contestants. Okay, Chuni, you've got one point. One more correct answer and you will be through to the magic cubes. Okay, let's keep the ball rolling with the next question. Jean Valjean is released from prison, yet no one is willing to take him in. However, an old couple told him to look for this person. Who is this person? Chung Min, Chung Min, what is your answer? The answer is uh, Bishop Miliu. Yes, it is. <laughs> Excellent, Chung Min, well done. He's thinking now, I wish I never got that question correct so I didn't have to wear these pink wings. <laughs> but don't worry, you can take them off if you get one more correct and go to the magic cubes. Okay, we're talking about Les Miserables and here is the next question. Jean Valjean goes to a village nearby Paris to help the poor people and he ends up living there. As he wins the trust of the villagers, they ask him to become this. What is it? That is number two, Chuni. Get this correct, she's in the magic cubes. What's your answer? The answer is, uh, Mon... Mad... Madeline. And that is Hien. Hien, what is your answer? The mayor. That's right. <laughs> Okay, what does he get this time? A little crown? Don't worry, you look beautiful here. As pretty as a little flower. Okay, he gets that correct. He um, joins two of the contestants who have got one correct answer, and we move on. Next question. A woman who got fired at Jean Valjean's marble factory complains that he is a terrible mayor. That is Hong San. Hong San, what is your answer? Fountine. Yes, it is. That's right. Just to finish. <laughs> the audience crowd, you are lovely. Okay, excellent. Okay, and still though, we have nobody in the magic cubes. We now have four contestants with one correct answer. Next question. Jean Valjean became mayor, but he couldn't live peacefully because of one police inspector. Okay, this is Hong San. Hong San, who are we talking about? Javert. Javert. That's right, Javert. He was constantly suspicious and always watching over Jean Valjean. Hong San. Yes? Who is your favorite character in Les Miserables? Uh, Jean Valjean. It was. Mm -hmm. He was brave in every um, danger. Mm -hmm. And anyway, he was brave. Mm -hmm. so, so he's very brave even when there was danger? Yeah. Well, there may be danger ahead for you. You may be very brave because you're into the Magic Cubes! <laughs> so, one contestant goes through to the next round. Who will join him? Let's find out. Next question. Jean Valjean and Cosette run away together, hiding here and there. But... They get chased by Javert and end up in a dangerous situation. But they found a safe hiding place. Where was it? That is Chuni. Chuni, what is your answer? The answer is Catholic Church. We're going to give it. 
A Catholic church or the actual place where the nuns do live, not worship, is a convent. A convent, and that's where they were hiding. Junie, yeah. you got two correct answers. You're into the magic cubes. And so the battle continues for those final two places. And here is the next question in that battle. Oh, Father, please wake up. I shall give this to you. It doesn't look like much, but it is the most valuable thing in this world. OK, that is Wang Yu. Wang Yu, what is your answer? The answer is a doll. Not a doll. Continue the question, please. Jean Valjean gave this to Cosette, which he received from Muriel as a present. What made Jean Valjean realize what love was? So this is a present from Jean Valjean to Cosette. He got it from Bishop Muriel. Then... Okay, Ian. The answer is two candlesticks. Okay, we're going to give it. Ian looks very happy about that. Yes, silver candle holders or candlesticks. Okay, Ian, you got that correct. Don't take any of our candlesticks with you, but you are going to the Magic Cubes. And so one place left. Three contestants all trying to get it. Next question. Jean Valjean and Cosette were walking in the park. What was the name of the boy who fell in love with... That's Strongmin. He could take the final place in the Magic Cubes. What is the answer? The answer is Marius. <laughs> That's right. So, what does that mean? It means that Tongmin, with his pink wings on his head, you are now allowed to take them off because you're in the Magic Cubes! <laughs> well, four of the contestants have reached the Magic Cubes. Do you want to know a little bit more about them? I certainly do. Take a look at this. Introducing four kids advancing to the Magic Cube. Contestant number two, Jin Jun Hee, wants to be a doctor. Does it suit her? Contestant number four, Yang Hong Sun, admires great King Sejong because he was the founder of Hangul. Contestant number 15, Yi Jong Min. He likes mathematics because it is fun and easy. Contestant number 18, Yang Hee In, admires his parents. They take care of me. All right, Magic Cubes it is. We have four contestants here, a lady and three gentlemen, all waiting to take part to see if they can go to the Super Round. You get the most points, you will be the person going through to the Super Round. We have nine categories, so nine points are possible with a magic box and a magic stick. Do you want to see the categories? Yes. Then here they are. There we go, nine categories there are. Well, fingers on the buzzers, he is already happy. Maybe he's seen a category he likes. I will choose the first category. Hmm, number eight, safety. This traffic safety sign is on the other side of a railroad crossing section. Then, what does the following sign mean? Okay, we have options, but Hien has come in first. Hien, what is your answer? Uh, the an I think it's, uh, there, people are crossing, be careful. Okay, listen up carefully, there are still more options. What are the options? One, no running. Two, walk with mom. Three, School zone. Four. No. That is Chong Min, the tallest man here. 
taller than me, I think. What is your answer? The answer is for no kidnapping. <laughs> okay, that is Hongsan. Hongsan, what is your answer? Uh, three school zone. Yes, it is. <laughs> Obviously, no kidnapping as well. That's preferable, please. Thank you. Anywhere in the world. All righty, that is Hongsan has begun. He has one point on the board. He has started and he will continue with the next category. Which do you want? Number three, fly. Number three, fly. You are looking at a clip of the movie Cut Away. The movie is about this sport. What is this sport in which a person jumps from high altitudes and lands by opening their parachute as they get closer to the ground? That is Hien. Hien, what do we call this sport? Skydiving. Yes, we do. That's right, we call it skydiving. Hien, have you ever been skydiving? Nope. No, neither have I. Um, what, what, by the way, I'm interested, what's your favourite book? You obviously study and read a lot. What's your favourite book? Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe. Why do you like that book? Uh, I like it because Robinson makes a, lot of, it makes a lot of things and he also thinks a lot and it's kind of like a fun adventure. Ah, the adventure of being on a deserted desert island. Well, you are in an adventure now. It's the Super Kids adventure. And you have just got a point to uh, tie Hongzhan. And you can choose the next category. Go ahead. Uh, number two, part and hole. It's my favorite section. Part and hole. The point in the program, we will show you a series of small pictures. These pictures are of one object. Just tell me what that object is. Here we go. Look at your monitors at home. Watch your screens. <laughs> Hong Zan thinks he knows what it is. Hong Zan, what is your answer? Roller blade. <laughs> Not a roller blade. Keep watching. Okay, that is Chung Min. Chung Min. What is your answer? What do you think it is? The answer is fan. <laughs> yes, it is. And so we have one, one, one right now. All the gentlemen are tying for one. We still have a lot of questions to go, so Chun Hee, don't worry. There's a long way to go yet. Now remember, as always, on part and whole, yeet. there on the screen right now is an address you can send your ideas or your photos to this address, and you could be famous here on Super Kids. Well, a little bit famous. All righty, thank you for your help if you do send them in. Let's continue. Who got it right uh, this time? It was Chong Min, that's correct. So uh, he chooses the next category. Go ahead. Mm, number one, culture. Number one, culture. This started from a memorial ceremony for heroes in England. In Japan, it had expanded into a genre of wearing character costumes from cartoons, games, and movies. What is this new phenomenon? That is Chongmin again. Can you get two in a row? What is your answer? The answer is ninja. <laughs> you put on clothes like other people. OK, Chunhee, what is your answer? The answer is costume play. Yes, it is. Well, blow me down if we don't have a very interesting situation here. One, 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 one. It's a tie. Everybody has one point, so anybody could be a winner as we look at the last four sections. A small advantage for Chunhee because she gets to choose the next category. Number seven, song. Number seven, song. Oh, and the magic box. So you can get a point and a magic box. Listen up. The movie, Sopyeonje, expresses the grief of Koreans through the unlucky life of a no-bad singer's family. Ian, he's come in halfway through the question. Can he take the lead? What is your answer? 
판소리? 콩딱! That's right, it's a kind of uh, folk music, or, and it often tells a story and involves two people. You have the magic box. You don't need to look inside, it's got nothing in there. <laughs> Hien, can you do pansori? <laughs> no, okay. Neither can I. Surprise, surprise. Three sections left. Hien has just taken the lead. It's two, one, one, one. Go ahead, choose the next category. Yawn, five. Y yawning? Number five, yawning. <laughs> Next question is the magic stick as well. When people are sleepy or bored, they yawn a lot. Yawning is a natural reflex that happens when this is lacking in the brain. What is this that is lacking in the brain? Hien. Oxygen. It is. <laughs> got the magic stick as well. The magic stick and the magic box. Thank you, Mr. Fox. And we have two categories left. Now, because of the situation with the scores, one, 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 three, anybody can still go through, okay? Because all three of you can tie with Hien. Hien, one more correct, and you will go through to the super round. Hien, do you want fortress or dress? Number four, fortress. Fortress. This fortress was added onto the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1997. It is well known that Chung Mya Gyeong used the pulley. And that is Chung Min. Chung Min. The answer is Suwon Ha Song. You're right. That's right, it is Hwasong Fortress and it is in the city of Suwon. Okay, well done. And it was added to that UNESCO World Cultural List in 1997. So, Chong Min has tr come in towards the end. There is one question left. Will Chong Min go through? Will he tie with Hien? Or will Hien go through? Let's see the final Question. Good luck to you all. Here it is. Korea's traditional clothing. Ian, you may have come in too early. You can guess if you like. Hanbok. So that means, just to make things clear, Ian can't answer until somebody else answers, and then you can answer again. Let's listen to the rest of the question. Korea's traditional clothing is the hanbok. Japan's traditional clothing is the kimono. The following clothing is called the sari. What country is it from? This is Hong Sun. If he gets it right, he can smile. And he will be smiling too. Hong Sun, what is the answer? India. It's the correct answer. It has been very tight in the Magic Cubes today. If I look down, we have Chunhee, she got uh, one point. And uh, we have Hong Son on two points. He got the final question correct. Chong, uh, Chong Min made a very brave run of things. He got two points too. But today, the man with that cheeky smile <laughs> is number 18, he in with three points. I was very disappointed, but I want he in to do it better than me. Oh, it's okay. It was a good time trying to be a super kid, and I hope Hee Jun becomes a super kid. Oh, super kids are not so bad, but here we are. I was very happy to be able to get to the next level. I hope Hee Jun becomes a super kid. Oh, super kids are not
wonderful choreography there from the students of He in School. They've cheered him up. Will he be a super kid today? We will find out. Three correct answers from five questions. He has the magic stick, he has the magic box. That gives him an advantage. Will he be a super kid? Let's begin. Number one. What word commonly fits in all three blanks? I'm looking for one word here. Flash blank. Cash blank. Feed blank. One word. Flash blank, cash blank, feed blank. Uh, me? <laughs> Afraid not. What is that word? Anybody? Back. Oh. Back. It's easier when you sat here than when you stood up there. Flashback, cashback, feedback. Okay. Here is question number two. This is a musical question, so listen to this first. The piece you are listening to is The Trout by this German composer. Leaving behind about 700 songs such as Lucifer and Wild Rose. Who is this person? He's a German composer. The tunes, The Trout, Lucifer and Wild Rose. I want to use the magic stick. You want to use the magic stick? Show me. Use the magic stick. That means we move on to the next question. The answer for that one, the German composer, is Schubert. French Schubert. Ah, that's it. You know now, I gave you the answer. OK, next question. So far, you've had one question, one incorrect answer. So this is question number two. In Sanskrit, this mountain means dwelling in snow. It goes over Pakistan, northern India and Nepal. Also known as the world's greatest mountain range. What mountain means the world's roof? Everest. <laughs> the other ones. <laughs> the uh -huh. Himalayas. Two questions. Quiet, please. Two incorrect answers. You've got to get this one, OK? Here we go. Next question. This is dark or brown colour pigment that it exists on animal skin. Depending on the amount, the colour of skin and hair are determined. This also explains why people have freckles. What is this substance? It's the name of a substance in our skin. Okay, I'm going to give you five seconds. Do you have an answer? No. Anybody in the audience? Melanin. That's right. Melanin or melanin. Unfortunately, you've got three incorrect. You don't have enough questions yet. So today, I'm afraid, Ian, I must say, you are not a super kid today. But you're still super to us and to all your friends, so give them a round of applause. Super Kids is inviting you to its summer open broadcasting. Want to have unforgettable memories this summer? Click on Arirang's homepage and register straight away. We're waiting for you to seize the challenge. And so this is the end of Super Kids for today. Ian was not a Super Kid today, but he did very, very well. Ian, just to let us know, how do you feel right now? I'm uh, kind of upset, but I feel kind of good that I came out on TV, and it's kind of fun. It was kind of fun. Good. We had a good time. That's the important thing. Well, we will be back next time. 
stop that behind me. <laughs> we'll be back next time here on Super Kids, where we're always having fun. Well, thank you to Tedok Elementary School from Tedok. We'll see you next time on Super Kids.